So we've all got some oil and we're going to do an effleurage. So we're going to unveil those right away because we're starting at the toes. And so what you want to do is expose the hip and get right up here because we're going up to the hip. And the idea is that we not only want to loosen up the whole leg, but we really want to get the hip loosened up because we're going to do the leg pumping, okay? So let's unveil her toes. And I'll give you folks just a review. We're going to do an effleurage where we start with the foot and we sandwich the foot between our hands like this. So it's kind of like in a prayer position. And it feels good on the sole of the foot, doesn't it, Mary? And then we're going to go around like that. Then we're going to step away so that front leg you're going to lean on. And let your hands get ahead of your body. And then use your body weight to lean right up like that. And then glide back without pressure. And the reason that we don't put pressure on the way down is that there's valves in the veins that want to open this way towards the heart. So no pushing down, that's the only thing you have to remember. Okay, so try that yourselves. You're each going to do like a one, two, three on the foot. One, two, three. So like this, one, okay. two, three, that kind of thing. And I wonder about that from... So the effleurage is very good for getting Mary used to your touch and being able to get the circulation moving. And then you can park up here in the hip, put one hand on top of the other, and do a reinforced palm kneading. Yeah. And you can use the whole palm, Laura, and you can be a little closer to your hands there. That's it. Big strokes, big flat strokes. And I'll demonstrate up here and around. Mary, are you chilly at all? We got a breeze blowing through here mm -hmm. off the lake. Okay, that's good. Yep. And if you keep all the same rhythm, the two of you, that's really good. And you can wrap even further around the back and then go right underneath as though you're getting right to her rear end and keep your thumbs alongside your fingers. Yeah, that's it. That's perfect. Yep, that's good. And I'll show you, you can go further under. So you want to get okay. way under there. Yep, so you take that thumb and finger. Yep. Now try, yep, going up. You got longer fingers than me. Way <laughs> under. Way under. Okay. Right. That's better, Mary. Yep. So you want to get way underneath. Yay. Okay. And then what we're going to do is stay there. And we're going to go like this. We're going to press our hand down against the bed. And we're going to push up like that with our fingertips up into her. So you really let your arm rest on the bed and then your back isn't affected. Adversely. Yes. Perfect. Nice. Our fingers are now on what's called Mary's ischial tuberosity. It's where all the hamstring muscles from the back of her thigh hook up to. And that's a point of breakdown. That's one of those pressure sore possibilities right mm -hmm. there where it's a bony protuberance. And then if we go up here into the whole mm -hmm. hip area, then we feel out here. Here's another place. And that's okay. going to be the head of the femur, because you can come at it from this angle, okay. head of the femur, and it's right around to there. And then I take Mary's leg, and I just move the foot so that it rests on something, and I just wait till I get a bit of give, and it's right around there. And then when I've got a foot brace like that, that means I could lean this way. Are you okay with that, Mary? You're helping me. Don't help. Don't help me. Thank you. And then I push this and then underneath. So that way you can maneuver the hip more exposure for you. Nice. Oh, you got a nice touch. Thank you. Very nice. <laughs> Payback time for your favorite aunt, eh? <laughs> so this Definitely. is my dream come true, Mary, having real relatives <laughs> massaging you. Mm -hmm. I mean, Laura and I count. Definitely. <laughs> in the, friendship department, but that's very good. Excellent. And then what we're going to do is smooth it out every so often with a broad stroke so she doesn't feel pokey, mm -hmm. and then go back to it.
like oh, that. Yeah. This is always a great continuity stroke and you can never get enough effleuraging. It's just a very nice long stroke, very relaxing, right Mary? Mm -hmm. Now let's, when you're up there, uh, then when you split your hands and come back, you can make it all encompassing, like go right to the inside of the thigh and all the way down. Okay, great, so let's try that one more time. Okay. So we'll get the effleurage to, yeah. And this, you can really push on the sole okay. of your foot. Because down at the end of the extremity, that's where the circulation is most Sorry. compromised. <laughs> there you go. And then you can lean on the side of her. She looks teeny, but she's tough. <laughs> and then really lean on that part. The this no, you had you had the angle right, Christine. But what you want to do is put your heel of your hands down lower, because okay. on that outer edge you've got the iliotibial band. It's a band of fascia <laughs> yeah. that gets really tight. Okay, so then go all the way up, and then on your way back, split and drag in the inside. So you encompass the whole leg. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. good, good, good. I get it. So we're gonna start here, and we're gonna go, go, go. And now I'm right up at the ischial tuberosity, yep. and then I'm gliding back. So underneath, I'm just going a little bit higher. Okay. okay. Right. You folks have perfect rhythm. This <laughs> is really good where they're both at the same level, and everyone's wearing these kinds of things <laughs> nowadays, so they always get out of the Get yeah, a little further all the way up that you yeah. can reach. And so what okay. we're going to do is just uh, give a gap here. And sometimes a and heat pad really helps because then it doesn't feel so does it feel nice? stiff. Yeah. Okay, and you're lifting up like that underneath, yeah. And make sure your hands are, yeah, I tend to wedge them into me to get the leverage. Yeah, nice work. Well, and then if you take your thumb with you, mm -hmm. yeah, then you can go oh, further okay. without bumping into her private parts. <laughs> okay, that's good, and all the way back. We're gonna go like this. Lift your hands, and we're gonna go across. Okay. So this hand goes way underneath, and pulls back, and this hand goes way underneath. So you can keep them pointing in the same direction, Laura. That's a fancier version than I'm doing. <laughs> okay, so really wrap way on the inside. Yeah, and the more you get way underneath, the better. So you can see with Christine, we're not going to move her alert bracelet, but you know, you'd leave your watches off and all that kind of thing because you really want to get underneath. You want to get those hamstrings underneath really well wrung and come right down into the back of the knee because that's where they attach. They run underneath there and they attach on either side at the back of the knee. How's that, Mary? And is the pressure good? Great. Just dozing Yay. off on them. That's very nice. <laughs> Yeah, and way underneath. Good work, team. These muscles in the front are called quadriceps because they have four heads to them. And all those heads go into this common patellar tendon, and that's what gets tight right below there. But the kneecap, the bone, the kneecap, the patella, it's housed inside this tendon. So that it comes down and then forms a tendon, and that gives good fulcrum leverage. But I'll show you. We're going to do the alternate thumb kneading. And it's like this. One thumb completely goes over where the other thumb was. So just put your hands on mine, Christine. I'll take you for a ride. Put your thumb right on mine. So one, two, one, two. And let me show you what most people do. So the right hand knows what to do and the left just kind of hops along. And that's normal for right-handed people. But OK, so you're ambidextrous. Now are they the same pressure, Mary? No. no. Okay. <laughs> Who's firmer? Me. Laura. Okay. okay. So Mary will use eyes a lot. She talks with her eyes and it's really <laughs> easy to figure out what she's doing. So you would do all sorts of alternate thumb kneading all over there. Let me show you the fancy one for the kneecap. Now, as I've demonstrated, these are the teeny weeniest kneecaps. Mary has tiny all sewn up here because the kneecap is the smallest kneecap of an adult I've ever massaged around. But it's right across here. You're, she's famous for her kneecaps. So I <laughs> boast about them to everybody. So you want to go across there and then around. Oh, just for, for matching. So starting by pressing in to the center of her knee and up. And by the time we get to the top, starting here and starting to press out. And you're going matched. across that common patellar tendon that yep. inserts into the tibia every time. Yep. And it really helps stretch it. 
and this helps us synchronize because then instead of left right we're going in and out nice work so it can help synchronize a little bit better How does that feel, Mary? I think we got a good smile happening. <laughs> yeah, we do. It's proportional for her body because she's so delicate and petite that I've never seen such cute little kneecaps. <laughs> <laughs> and they're really important to keep loosening up so that this knee can't fix. Mm -hmm. And then we can wring the lower leg. So basically, I do lots and lots of ringing, and then I'd say the gastrocnemius, the calf muscle, mm -hmm. is one of my biggest focuses of attention, because right down here in the Achilles, so I'm going to lift up your foot here, this Achilles gets tighter and tighter, and as it shortens, it points Mary's toes, mm -hmm. so the more we can, I'll give you this again, the more we can get up underneath there, and really work that calf muscle, How's isn't that, that nice? Yeah. We're getting the nod. If you got that nod coming from here, you probably have to get right over the toes. Is that enough pressure, Mary? Yeah. Should we do one, one more time? Yeah. Okay. You can never do enough underneath there okay. for that gastrocnemius, the calf muscle. Even if you're coming up with your fingertips, you can do like a okay. fingertip kneading like sure. that, alternating. For the gastrocnemius, the calf muscle, and then if you can park in the back of the knee and come around again, the under that's the big deal. Does that hurt? No. Oh, it's the like big deal is to do the back of her knees. Right. And if you get the back of the knees loosened up, like the hamstring attachments and the gastrocnemius attachments, then when we do the leg pumping, it's so much easier. We start like little bits. That's it. And down. And then you don't have to help me. She's very helpful. And down. Yeah, that's great. Yay. And you can see once you get going, then it's easy. Mm -hmm. Right? Drop the leg, drop the leg. Don't help me. There we go. Say when. Enough? Okay. And so. it's as Melissa comes down that you start going up, right? All right. So it's like a walking gait. All right. Oh, there you go. Up. As far as I can tell, it just as she gives her nod. <laughs> and, then, and as you get going, you can do it a little bit further each time, but we usually start pretty conservative. Yeah. Mary has a pretty good touch for that, so just like she's able to move by herself. Are you getting some help from her too? Yeah, she likes to have fun. <laughs> and that's the thing to do is always to tell her to drop the leg. Okay. Don't help. Oh, don't help. Oh, no. Okay. okay. You want to do all the work. Oh, and you can okay. bring your hand underneath her heel. Yeah, sorry. That's uh, right. Yeah. And then, I don't know, once, if you can get her up to here. That's fantastic. Um, it might be easier to, like, shake her, shake her efforts up. <laughs> so she'll kind of just relax. So do here and do what here? Um, just give it, yeah, yeah, just back and forth a little bit. And then you can kind of feel your leg. Get heavier. Anything it's like give it a little shake when you get it. Yeah, like when you're getting a massage in your arm, if somebody shakes your arm. Mm -hmm. You can like all of a sudden feel it just like droop. Oh, okay. So. Okay. So then, if you can get a rhythm going, so that that's it exactly. So when she's fully extended, the other one's fully bent. That's perfect. And then you really stretch it out, even if it's bent. Yeah, really lift up the heel. She's doing that herself, showing me that I should be doing that. Yeah, oh and just drop it down, Mary. Just keep dropping it. And that elicits a really good response in the abdomen. Oh, 
so it's course. very yes. good for getting the digestive system moving. I remember the first time that she asked me to massage her, she said, can you, and this was before I had any instruction from anybody professional or, or otherwise, mm -hmm. um, she said, can you massage my arms for me? And it was just forearms at that point that she directed me to, so not knowing at all what to do, I thought, oh, okay. So I did something, whatever came to my mind just, just to do, and she said that she liked it. Yeah. And she said to me, um, can you, um, can you keep massaging my arms even when I'm not able to tell you that I want my arms massaged? I said, okay, so I do. Do a little leg pumping. You know if it gets too much for you. How about the bear nodding up and down when we do this. <laughs> He's having a good time. Saying yes. Pump the way. Gave me that look, is it the okay look? Let me know if it gets too much. You're helping me. And is that far enough? I can go further? Okay. A little further? Okay. And circles? Let me know how high I can go, Mary. Right there. Should I go higher? No, that's good, right there. So what we've got going here that you've experienced by just watching these two and three and four is the communication skills. So that Lorraine always checks in with her partner that she's massaging with, and Nick is able to check in with Mary and Everybody's checking in with everyone. As long as that's happening, okay. you can't go wrong. But if you watch Mary's face, she looks like she's in La La Land. <laughs> and she looked like she left a while ago. <laughs> and it's like you don't want to disturb her. You know, I mean, you really yeah. don't want to ask her. It's not a natural thing to go, how's it going, Mary? Is this firm enough? Because you just don't want to have anything except ultimate relaxation for mm -hmm. her. But... Mary just floats up to the surface like a mermaid, nods, mm -hmm. and then is able to drift right back down, right? And that's part of people getting used to being handled the right way. So with Mary, this is her favorite friend. <laughs> so you've got lots going for you when you've got your best friend massaging you. One of her and, best friends. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they, they fight, you know, like, <laughs> there's a whole front row of them, but, uh, <laughs> yeah. and I'm lucky, you know, that I, that's what I call a positive problem from my point of view. Also, as they're working, you can see that we left Mary's bear right where he usually is, and Mary's hands are relaxed, and they form a curve that configures to the shape of the bear, and that's in the perfect position right there. And does that leg pumping feel like it's mobilizing and moving your hips? Mobilizing and mobilizing your hips. Good. Great. And is there anything that you have as a question? Mm, I don't know. Just how is this um, like stretching been far enough? Like when we're going up? Once you can get it, you can try a little further. And what I do is come up, Nick, push mm -hmm. with the heel. Then you swivel this hand up and stabilize oh, the knee, yeah. right? And then as you go down, slide it underneath. Okay, so I'm just going to show them a little bit of advanced hand placement here with the knee. So Lorraine, as you come up, mm -hmm. at that point, start swiveling around. Yeah, you actually keep the foot held up mm -hmm. higher. 
even though oh, it's going to okay. get right in there uh, underneath yeah so you're kind of pumping so yeah and that is a strong state and then as you're coming down you slide this hand under that's right and then she lets the full weight of it drop then you fully extend it out yay okay now Okay, so now we're just going to move up to the ankle and go up to the side of the knee and up the thigh. Yep. But should we just end here? Yep. Yeah? And then we're going to just bring it back down with each hand on each side, right? Yep, with no pressure. Oh, we have oh, no right. pressure. Let's get ahead of your leg. Yeah, is that pressure okay for you? Are we doing it even, Mary? Okay, so we're sort of the same. Okay. I might get you to like this. Okay, so <laughs> let me butt in here. Okay, so you guys are doing a great job going this way, but it's natural to push up. Okay, so this kind of thing. Is that okay, Mary? Okay, and around you go. So there you are. So you can hold on. Now Mary's helping us, so you can just drop your leg down there. Good. And then go around and around like that. There you go, Laura. So you can actually let her whole heel sit in your hand. Yep. Yep. And often what I'll do is I'll sometimes back up, and then I'll just rest my arms there. The more you can take the stress off your back, mm -hmm. the better. So the more you can just lean on the bed and and use the bed as this kind of leverage and especially nice firm surfaces like that. It's great. For it. And then what we do is go around the malleoli like this. Both thumbs, yep, around those bumps. Are pressure equal, Mary? Good. Nice. And then I can hold it like this and just do one hand working all around the heel. And we're pretty good on keeping Mary's heels of her feet intact, you know? They aren't thinning out. They don't get red pressure sores or anything like that. And you can really grasp it like this. And then with the fingertips, you can also work right around. And then you put yours on mine, okay? So, here we go. Yeah, here we go. So, way down like that. So I kind of curve mine in like that and really rub, rub. So really wiggle around with your, yeah, 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 yeah. And way down to the bottom there. Yeah, that's it, that's, that's it. it, yeah. Yeah, so I kind of angle my wrist in. Does that feel good, Mary? Uh -huh. <laughs> Getting the smile and the nod. And especially here, another place that has a pressure sore possibility is back of the heels. Okay. So we really want to do as much as we can using the heels of our hands. Oh, this is nice, Tabby. This kind of, yeah, and you can get right up. So you can really put your hands together like this, Elaine. Okay. Let her foot slip right up on top of the heels of your hands. So put your heels together of your hands, the bottom of your thumbs. There you go, yeah. like that, and then go like this, right on the edge. So you can open it up and close it. Okay. Yeah. Don't be afraid to be firm. That's it. <laughs> That's okay. Yeah. Pressure is okay, Mary? Yes. Okay. And what you can do is this now. Even though she's got teeny feet, every little stroke counts. Because these tendons that are coming into her toes, see how her toes will pull up like that? So you want to ease that up so that there's not so much pulling on those toes. There's pulling in the back to point. There's pulling here. So you want to stretch those out, mm -hmm. and um, and you can all heat up things while you're doing that. So we've got a nice wrap afterwards. Great. So you can just put her down, and then use the alternate thumb kneading. Now your thumbs might feel crampy at first because you're getting a smaller and smaller alternate thumb kneading, and it really uses up the muscles in your own thumbs. But and I think you could be a tad firmer. Could Christine be a little firmer? Yeah. Is that better now? Okay, great. And I'm really pressing up on the underside. So my thumbs are back there and really 
it's, I call it reforming the arch. The arch goes across here. Right in the center is like the key brick in the arch, and that's where it takes the most challenge when you aren't standing on it. It's not doing any of its functioning. So either I'm warming up or your feet are warming up, one or the other, or both. <laughs> yeah, they do. It's really a nice yeah. feeling because yeah. by the time we're finished, they're yeah. much better temperature. And here comes the old corkscrewing again. So again, grip on. and Basically, these toes go that way. These toes go that way. And the middle one, it doesn't matter which direction These go, you go. Like so, I'm going towards you. This, yes, yeah, towards going. the outside aspect of the foot. Okay. It just feels like the best way to yeah. put pressure. Mm -hmm. It's a very natural movement. And you come right out. This is the foot, and these are the toes that we're cramping the most. Okay. So, but you know what? They've actually, um, they're better than they were a month ago, which is really a testimonial to the amount of massage that Mary's gotten because mm -hmm. this toe used to hurt and it didn't have this flexibility it was making into a claw and it was uh, got away on us there for a bit. My daughter has a favorite and that's corkscrewing the toes so and we get in between the toes and then we're gonna go like this we're gonna take these toes go that way these toes go that way so hold on to the foot and then wrap them like this. But you don't just have it wild, you actually stabilize the bottom joint there and corkscrew outward with that. The middle toe is up for grabs, it doesn't matter which way you go, but I'll just get in your way, Christine. So then you switch hands and you hold on here and we corkscrew the little one and the next one to it. And the idea is to stretch these out. So first we massage them and then we'll move them. And if you drop your shoulders, there you go, Good point. you'll survive it. Absolutely. <laughs> Sometimes you have to back up a little bit, mm -hmm. just because you're right on top of it, just okay. to get your shoulders. So are you on this little piggy here? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Instead of going to straight it. down, corkscrew. Oh, sorry. Rose beef, we're doing the rose beef. Rose beef, beef. okay. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Carnivores they are. <laughs> Your shoulders holding out there, like with the camera. Yeah. We both put our shoulders down. That was good. <laughs> yeah, that, that was good. Really eh? like one word yeah. from Christine. Oh, yeah. Okay. Should we go to the this one then? Yeah, sure. Okay. So you went to market. This is a big stay at home. So we'll do that one, and then then we corkscrew in the opposite direction. Oh, you're right. Okay. Right. Okay. So now to the inside of the foot. Okay. And what I do there, Nick, is mm -hmm. I switch hands. Okay. So I've been going. That oh, way, yes. and That's then it I helps just did too. when you switch hands. Sure. Oh, yeah. It's okay, now let me show you. It's like praying at the foot of Mary's bed. I'll show you what you do now. I spend quite a bit of time like this, so. Then I take my thumbs, and I'm going to do this ringing on the sole of her foot like this. So my hands on the top don't look like they're doing much, but underneath here, I'm going back and forth. Now, I could lean on it, too, and go like that. You know, you can do either way. So just try it. But the most important thing is not to bend down without leaning on the bed. We can put a pillow underneath the toweling. And then it'll just raise her up. Oh, and the other thing that's really important is writing in the journal. So it's good. Um, and it's really nice if it's subjective because then everyone can um, know what the other is doing. Things like... Um, you know, if people put, oh, they're feeling tired or, or, you know, but they perked right up massaging Mary or they, you know, sometimes people will think they're going to feel sad and instead they come out feeling really perky and optimistic and all that kind of stuff. Nick was the one who made it more subjective because he would always say things like, this is the best part of my day. And everyone felt that way, but we were putting... Okay, we proceeded from the back, to the, <laughs> then we did extra this, and Mary's sinuses are really congested today, so, or I forgot, and I didn't spend much time on her diaphragm, so please do that, or, you know, or she really liked getting the legs mobilized, so don't forget to do her arms too, or, you know, and then I'd read this stuff, and it was like, it was so much more, uh, 
uh, not meaningful, but it flushed it mm -hmm, out, mm -hmm. you know. So people would say, oh, feeling rushed, 10 minutes behind, managed to catch up. You know, or or even just things like it was a shorter massage than I'd hoped, or you, mm -hmm. you know. So okay. can somebody do a longer one later? So it has to have some release for the fluid to get between the joint surfaces, and then the compression can come back on again. And that's that's why we move our joints. Is that it's it's a habit. Like when we sit for too long, we sort of start to twist or so kind of subconsciously, and that's the joint wanting to get its nutrition. So you're so, kind of pulling it down and up. So I'm pulling it, well, almost straight down, almost but I'm sort of down. thinking a little a bit, bit up. up because I, because also this joint that we can't see that's sort of hidden in here, mm -hmm. um, the, the talus, because it's a very complicated joint, I'm also thinking about trying to swing it up, which would get us going back into the foot up position. And I can actually do that, and with my forearm, because I don't like to push on the on just the top of the foot when the this joint is so locked so i can pull and then i can get my stretch this way a little yeah, bit yeah that's what we were doing with our yeah arms. the full arm stretch yeah. for the foot i think is the is the best as part of the massage treatment but not on the left foot you can do it on both feet i just okay. don't want you pushing down, down. the flexion yeah. the plantar flexion is just okay. not a happening oh. thing there we go we get a nice spread of those toes and they're actually held now in a little bit of extension. So you can see on this foot how they're curling like that. And with this, we've positioned it so now the toes are actually like that. That's what this is doing, is bringing them up. You can't really see that once that's on there. But we're going from here to here. And then hopefully when Lou has to transfer, then she's transferring on this part of her foot. So the pressure is there, as opposed to when the curls toe under, curl under, the pressure could be right on like the nail beds almost when he's transferring her. So this would be nice, like now that we figured out, we had a hard time figuring out which was the best way to get them on the other day, but now that we know this is a nice way, then you can go and work on another part of the body and leave this like for 15 or 20 minutes while you're working somewhere else. Do two hands here. And then that the light reflex stroking is without any pressure, but it's a very good neurological stroke for letting go of tension. And it's very light with the fingertips, so it's not influencing the blood supply. I'm going up. I can keep doing this till you get what you want. That's pretty good. Let me come back. Shall we do the toes as well too? I'll show you a kind of call it a prayer yeah. position where you go like this and you go one, oh, two. Right. Three, and then this inside hand mm -hmm. curls around into the start position and then up you go. Okay. And this is kind of tricky, but it goes, put your hands like this, Michelle, mm -hmm. and then this will wrap to the inside and then you get into a start yeah. position. Okay. And if you follow yeah. along with Lorraine, that's probably good So enough. we'll go like one, is that close? Put it so that, yeah. And then think of the heel of your hand being on her heel. So okay. that's it. One, two, three. Just go down the foot, back up. So I'll show you. It's a sandwich kind of thing, like mm -hmm. one, two, okay. and quite, three. Quite deep. And this heel of your hand mm -hmm. is what's underneath. So that becomes so, the yeah. support. Okay. Yeah. And you really push into the heel of her foot with the heel of your hand. Mm -hmm. And it's like a one, two, three, warming it up. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then you walk up the leg with your stroke. Oh, and then we go like... Yay. Yep. Perfect. And you're actually pushing on the outside aspect of the leg. So when you're here, mm -hmm. I suggest instead of being here, mm -hmm. doing it that way, mm -hmm. come back down this way so your hands are always slightly in front of you. And then you've got your natural lean forward pressure. And then when you go up, you'll walk the leg. Even though you guys are oh, tall, okay. 
walk the leg mm -hmm. and keep walking it forward. That way you'll always be behind your hands with the pressure pushing up. Okay. So should we start? So we'll take it from the top. Mm -hmm. Like this. One. And you would be a little bit behind, you guys. Of course, yes, behind yes, yes, we've got the wrong. Yeah. Okay. There we go. Nice. Two. Two. One more. Yeah. And then we'll like that. And should we do this again then? And then the sequence of three again? Sure. Because okay. it's nice sometimes if she knows what the rhythm is too. And then. So that's the third? Yeah. Okay. And then you just park in the hip, stay there. Okay. So when you do that effleurage, it's mm -hmm. a half of one, and you just stay there and you use your reinforced palmer kneading on to the hip. hip. Yeah. Okay, so we'll do this one more time and then. Yeah. And then it's like a half an effleurage. So okay. We'll pause in the hip area then? Yes. Okay. Yep. Remember, be behind your hands. There you go. Thank you. Okay, now under. Okay, we've kind of uh, we're kind of out of uh, out of uh, sync here with that with the page, but I'm going to go under her um, under her hip. Okay, so you're right with, under. Uh, yes, I am with two, with two hands. Okay. And focus at the hip with both hands, mm -hmm. levering up into the glutes again. So I'm kind of I've got mm -hmm. my fingertips. Um, I feel like I'm kind of like in her sciatic area. Yeah, I think that's where I am okay. too. And levering up is is putting the weight of your um, of your wrist mm -hmm. on the bed. Yes. And then levering up. Oh yes. Alternate. Okay. Well, alternate or or in in unison, right? But alternate, alternate finger kneading, and that's okay. what she's referring to on her on her right there, Mary. That's good. How's that, Mary? So kind of just one Thank and you. the other. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is now, very relaxing. Is Marie, what what you can do to check yes. what Michelle's doing is what I did with you is feel her fingers like scoop further yes, underneath I can't, I can't, and go I can't get further. Over there, and you just push down further and go over to her side. Remember how I'm always trying yeah, to get you, you are. I know. off you've got, my side? You've got a really good system. So I know. I, I usually know cross the line. You come over to my side. I know it sounds so crazy. I'm worried about you jabbing in just because my nails, I have long you nails. You do have long nails. And and I'm, I'm just, just looking to see where you're. Yep, there I am. Yeah, so I'm doing I think this. we're in the same, we're in, yes. yeah. And just up with your fingers, yeah. yeah. It feels really, it feels really feels like you're doing good. the right thing, yeah. in the right place. Yeah. Is that, Mary, does that feel good? Does that feel right? Thank you. And this posture that you see with Lorraine, is really good because she's not just leaning over like this, mm -hmm. but she's got a stride mm -hmm. position, and right away her back will sustain it because mm -hmm. it's like being in a starting gate, mm -hmm. in that both of you are resting your arms on the bed, mm -hmm. and no harm can come to your back, mm -hmm. so it's perfect, and mm -hmm. which means you could stay there for quite a while, mm -hmm. and it would be a good thing for you. Good thing for Mary. Mm -hmm. So we're still just doing the alternate. Mm -hmm. Finger pressures up. Mm -hmm. And now with the circles. Would you be able to tell Michelle why doing that part of the back is really important? The sacral area? What does it prevent and what does it encourage? This is where, obviously, major pressure from areas all, mm -hmm. all night and all day in particular because this is her position. And it prevents the bed sores. And that's mm -hmm. what we were talking about with the, with the tissue uh, stimulation mm -hmm. then. Stop her from, from the skin from deteriorating and the tissue from deteriorating. Mm -hmm. Not to mention what it does for the hip joint, I would think. Mm -hmm. Kind of gets it moving, gets some motion in the in the joint itself, which she doesn't get otherwise. And then we can go from that to so now we're on. Um, 
Now focus on the hips with both hands and moving up into the glutes again. Work down the leg with the ringing, making sure that you get the back of the thigh with the wrap around. So that would be a good place to, to continue this. So now as we work, we can just keep mm -hmm. doing what we're doing except just kind of work down mm -hmm. bit by bit until we get to where we can do the hand ringing. And the hand ringing is exactly what it... Um, what it says, yeah, exactly like this. Now, I guess I can leave that pillow there and we can just work around. So, so this would be, yeah, the motion exactly. And um, Christine has suggested several times that when we, like, we can go right, like with this hand, mm -hmm. like right under. Mm -hmm. And then back. And then right under. Mm -hmm. We can just work our way down. Mm -hmm. Can take Should I just move the pillow? I don't know. I didn't want to upset, upset the comfort level. Mm -hmm. Is that okay to leave your hands like that for now, Mary? What can I ask a question, and Mary, it's to help understand as well too. And it's How just to keep on the okay. thigh. Mm -hmm. Oh, so okay, not past not the knee. Okay. No, we're just right. doing that section first. Okay. And if you see Lorraine's hands, she takes her thumb alongside her fingers, and that way you can go way, way under. If you open it up, it's not as easy mm -hmm. to go way, way under. And you want to go way far, far as you can, because we're basically massaging the hamstrings okay. too. Okay. Right, right, good point. We have that, yeah, to get to the hamstrings. And it's point. good when I say something that you don't look at me, you just pretend I'm not here. <laughs> Yeah. Just oh, right, keep okay. looking at Lorraine. It's like <laughs> fake the invisible. Mm -hmm. That was a good point. Thank you. <sighs> Is that okay with your fingernails? Like, yeah. Good I'm for you. Big. Okay. Yeah, I, I've always had them my whole life, so I'm really. So good. you're okay. You're, yeah. It's not. But I worry thing. more about you know. But I'm very cautious too with Mary. Yes, of course. Yeah. I know. Yeah, but they're kind of just little extensions of my fingers. <laughs> I do cut them down. <laughs> Once in a while? Oh, yeah. They break and then they go back. Great. <laughs> you go a little further underneath the shell. Okay. Like, don't worry about your fingernails. People that have long fingernails, they've got radar for them. Yeah. And you can push and pull. That's it. Thank you. No. What I wanted to ask about Barry's sensation and level of feeling and is it still all the same yes absolutely that's that's, that's the one so thing with this disease is that yeah. It, it's yeah, yeah. her this is so her response to the touch yeah. yeah it's just the movements that she can't yeah mm -hmm. make those are the connections that are missing with ALS mm -hmm. it's the uh, the yeah. the nerves aren't doing what the brain wants mm -hmm. it to So once we come down to the knee here, and we'll focus on the knee. Does that sound right, Christine? I would do the alternate thumb kneading first. To the, okay, so starting from from here going up? Yeah. Okay. Anywhere so, up and down there. There you go. It mm -hmm. took me a long time to learn this technique, but it looks like you've kind of got it. So we just, yeah, hands underneath and just alternate mm -hmm. thumb kneading. More, I think, to the outside mm -hmm. of the leg. Okay. To the outside of that. Mm -hmm, the bone muscle, or the muscle yeah. or yeah, whatever's there. That. This feels good for me. This feels like a good. It's a it, it's a comfortable, easy one. To, yeah. To yeah. Oh, I know. It's and it's it's the alternate thumb kneading that too. that you can do uh, on mm -hmm. arms, legs, mm -hmm. back even. Mm, this one feels shoulders. Yeah. And then we can just. Do I continue the thumb kneading on my way down, Christine? Yeah. Or is it better to okay? You can divide the thigh into like three parts, outside, middle, and inside. Okay. And um, although there's four heads, the quadriceps, four, right. you can uh, go up and down the outside, then the top, then the inside aspect. Okay. And the same thing, right from the top down to the, the Sh knees. Should, should I massage upwards and then s stroke down? Or Not is necessarily. Up and down, or just... Yeah. Up, just up, up and down, and and um, 
because there's one of us on each leg, mm -hmm. like I will watch you and you will watch me so that we're kind of at the same place on mm -hmm. the leg at the same time. And everything that we do mm -hmm. that I've learned from, from Christine, that it's, you know, I, mm -hmm. I just always keep my eyes on my, on my partner's mm -hmm. hands. And then um, for Mary's, again, for the sensation thing, so she's mm -hmm. not all over the map with what right. feels like where, so it yeah. feels like more like a, mm -hmm. probably easier for her to relax that way mm -hmm. if if so I'm still on the outside mm -hmm. and then you can go right on the top sure so we'll come down on the outside and then we'll once we get down and I almost feel like I might need if we're gonna stay on skin just a bit more, more oil mm -hmm. okay you go ahead I need you right back I'm just gonna get three right here yeah oh thank, thank you. you okay so that's and good. always keep it really close stuff. by Yes, and then you can, exactly. you know, move it around on the patient. And just reach. Mary's got the oil on all different parts for at different times. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And Lorraine, how are you doing about teaching? Does it feel comfortable and it's coming to you? No, it does not, Christine. In actual fact, I feel very um, not confident. Unconfident, but I'm really glad you're here. That it's making me um, so that I, because I don't want to make any mistakes. And yeah, and I don't it's want good to coaching the coach. Mistakes. So that's that's really typical. The first time you're passing it on, it's nice to teach the teachers. I think you're doing great. No, oh, thank you. <laughs> and let me know when it does kick in, when you do feel like you're on your way. Okay, and that you know what, Christine, that may or may not happen for me. I'm not sure. That I feel confident. How old are your children, Lorraine? You've got five, you said? Yes. My oldest is 25 and my youngest is 15. Yeah. And they're all in between there. 25, mm -hmm. 23, 19, 16, 15. Mm -hmm. so they're all driving but one. Oh my <laughs> Did you put them through that driver, of course? Yes. And they have to do that, yeah. and they have to pay for it themselves too. If they want okay. their, the, you mm -hmm. know, the, the uh, right to drive, it's, mm -hmm. it's a, it's a privilege, not a right. Mm -hmm. So that's yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Because I make mistakes as a driver, yeah. and I don't want them to learn my mistakes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, our daughter turned sixteen in February, so that's why I'm asking. Oh. So it's right on the horizon. And absolutely. Yeah. Now I don't know, but I'm thinking maybe your thumbs should, Be yeah, more just. On. Yep. Okay. That's what I've seen Christine mm -hmm. do and those yeah, who are yeah. we have, we can, I, I closer together maybe yeah. with well, What you're picking up on is speed. Oh, okay. And so what you would we want to, to do down. is, yep. Yeah. Yes. And then... I have a tendency to go too fast. And then you, if that leg was mm -hmm. forward just a bit, okay. or you can suggest to somebody they can put their knee up if they need to. Right, and, and that's she what did Michelle's it. got natural in here. Right, but yeah. if you go slower, mm -hmm. it'll be firmer. So even though you've got long fingernails, don't be afraid to press with your. That's it. Okay. So that's with, it. The, oh, with the and ball. slow it down. Okay. Yes, and I long, go too fast, and that's something that I have to. And long fingernail people, they tend to be light because they can't oh, go upside okay. down on okay. their fingernails, okay. so they don't have as much experience yes. being slow and firm. Okay. Don't be afraid of your nails, because Mary's mm. got great radar. Just slow it down. Okay. <laughs> so should we do now the inside? Concentrate yep. on bringing our hands in, and we'll just do the alternate thumb kneading on the way up. And watch your shoulders, Christine. That's another thing that Christina's told me is mm -hmm. like don't get like this that's because good. you're going to feel yeah. it later. So I'm I'm always have to watch that in myself. Because there's no point in raising your shoulders. Mary, your skin is beautiful. Well, yeah, no wonder, hey. <laughs> so, how is your like? How is your position here with your thumbs? I feel a little awkward. Okay, well, I'll yeah, show you something easier for both of you. Okay. Because what I do here is I'll often go to this stroke where I do a single-handed oh, fingertip okay. kneading. Okay. Oh, that's nice. It's easier. Not and I can do the thumb kneading right over to here, you know, without getting into a...
pretzel, okay. but this is a really good one. And then the reason that it's so important on the inner thigh is because Mary runs her talking machine with that foot yeah, and it's bringing it in. And she goes for turning off the television yes. with that toe pointing one, remember, with the little yep. red button? Yep. So she pulls this and then for talking, she goes up and down with that heel. Okay. So all of these have to do with pulling the yes. leg over. It's particularly in this leg, mm -hmm. in Mary's case, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. for that thigh work. Yes, yeah, and nice. it's a just, scooping up. So good. instead of going down, you guys try an upward lift. Oh. Yeah, and you can make it less generous, more stingy. Like Lorraine's got teenier strokes. That's perfect. Mm. How does that does that feel better than the thumbs for you at, at this location? Yeah, mm -hmm. me too. Yeah. What How a team, that Mary. For you, hey. You two are very well coordinated. It's great. Mm -hmm. Thanks. Michelle seems to be natural. She she knows what to do before she even gets there. <laughs> I think we sl we have slowed down our pace sufficiently. Mm -hmm. We were kind of I think it feels wonderful. Yeah. yeah. Especially when I'm talking, I find that I'm, mm -hmm. I, I tend to massage faster, mm -hmm. which is not a good thing. Now maybe we can, we're ready to focus on the knees like we need to focus. Mm -hmm. um, scooping strokes and thumb kneading. Be sure to get under the knee also. Mm -hmm. Um, so I would I would start and Christine you can correct me if I'm wrong by putting my hands underneath her knee. Okay, so they're meeting underneath. And then, yes, the fingertips basically, okay. and um, using my thumbs, mm -hmm. what I do is um, small circles around mm -hmm. the joints. So and this I can apply to um, ankles, mm -hmm. and I can apply to wrists, mm -hmm. and I can even apply it to shoulders small circles around the okay. around the joints. Now there's other things too, but that's one thing that's stuck in my mind from mm -hmm. the things Christine has been teaching me. And I apply this when I um, even massage my kids at home. Mm -hmm. When I get to their mm -hmm. joints, shoulders or, or uh, knees or whatever the, the injured area is at the time. So they're a lucky Just recipient of the touch. <laughs> they actually are. That's been a whole bonus oh. for my family. Is How they, long have you been doing this for, with Mary then? We started in the summer, mm -hmm. hey Mary, I think, mm -hmm. with Christine and and uh, and then the other professionals that she has brought in. So in the summer, like maybe July, something mm -hmm. like that. Mm -hmm. And and actually, I mean, I've, I I started massaging Mary without any uh, without any training, simply because she asked me to. So I was mm -hmm. really excited when somebody professional gave me some mm -hmm. tips. Oh, This is an area that I'm sure is overlooked on every body. <laughs> knees? Yeah, in I don't think I've ever I don't think I've ever had my knees massaged. Well, like yes, yeah. no. Mm. And Lorraine, why would it be important to massage Mary's knees in particularly? It also goes with why mobilize the hips, but why would we want to kind of loosen up the knees? get them warmed up with the massage. <laughs> Very good stuff with that. I'm, to I'm sorry. That's okay. Um, no, it's that whole thing about the light pumping. So, oh, so that one. So get if I can um, okay. get you to, as you're massaging here, and then we got the scooping, and then we can do the modified alternate thumb kneading. Oh, you know, okay. a big one. Okay. But when you go through those with Michelle, if you can just describe why we would like pump, and you can do that at the end, you know. Are we going to like that? We'll do a little bit just to show her what to do. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So so we'll just change mm -hmm. here by doing large alternate thumb kneading. 
inside and outside. And if we can kind of do that in tandem, I think mm -hmm. it would feel better for Mary. And as we progress with the leg massage, there is a technique, leg pumping, that um, requires two of us, one on each leg, and we will move her, um, move her legs as if she was riding a bicycle. Okay. I did see that. It was in the video. It was. Yeah. It is. Yes. Yes. Exactly. Yeah. That's mm -hmm. exactly what was in the video. And so, but it it's um it's not easy for Mary unless we mm. warm up the hip, the oh. knees, and the ankles okay. for that matter. So this makes it easier and, and it less painful for Mary, while well, probably eliminates any, any pain factor. If she's got mobile joints, warmed up joints. And Christine often keeps a, a wheat pack in here mm -hmm. when we're not like right here. Mm -hmm. And then a scooping technique for the knee, and I've forgotten what that's going to look like. This? You can yeah. scoop kind of into the center. So oh, that, oh, there you go. See, she's so good, yeah. eh? She's and Mary so has the teeny, weeniest little <laughs> patella. Like, it doesn't matter. I think this is within 24 hours. I've been seeing this twice. But I never get tired of them. They're just so tiny. Like mm -hmm. I'm tiny. Mm -hmm. I was I gonna have, say in comparison, and even I have tiny ones. Oh, but okay. I've never seen anything so tiny as Mary's. She's so. And what's petite. the patellus? It's the um, fulcrum here, your kneecap, and so like the egg yolk. Mine. Thing. Look at this. See, like, just so you know, yours are tiny, Mary. See, like mine will go side to side and up and down. Mm -hmm. And because it's actually an extra bone in there, it gives greater strength to the leverage of the foot. Like you could just take it out of there and this wouldn't have as much strong dynamic. But if you stick something in there, then everything has more strength. It's like a fulcrum mm -hmm. inside. So this patella is really strategic to the working of the foot. But like that is a small one. These are <laughs> teeny. They're so cute. My favorite part of Mary. There's her <laughs> scooping. And you just scoop into the center. Yeah. And right up. Yeah. And you can even be more picky with this one. Less generous. Again, you can keep it, because she's so tiny, I keep it pretty close. And if you slow it down, you can really get some nice pressure on the sides there with your thumb and your fingers as you're scooping in. Yeah, perfect. Some of them are restorative, I feel. Like I feel okay in my body right now. And it's, yeah, it's relaxing. I don't feel strained. Mm. Suction. Mm -hmm. Got it. No, not suction? No. Heat? Down here. You want that suction, Mary? You want a pillow for your hands? Mm -hmm. oh, okay. ah. I know the bear was. Because the bear was small. The bear was the bear small? It was. We got stuck. We got hooked on the bear. I missed the bear last night. Where's the bear? A little further down. See, Mary has beautiful fingernails. Oh, yeah. yeah. <sighs> fingernails and toenails. I'm always yeah. jealous of hers. Have I got that right? Okay. Mm. Right. You don't need suction right now, Mary? No. Okay. Just the pillow. Mm. Now it kind of looks like one leg, yeah, okay, we're a little off balance here with the pillow. Yeah, yeah. yours is up higher. Mm -hmm. I think that happened when we changed the... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Feel a little bit more balanced, Mary? Mm -hmm. So maybe just a bit more scooping on the... Are you always going to be my partner when I massage Mary? How does that work? Um, or does it just different people come? There's certain just times? And well, Christine does have a schedule set mm -hmm. up. I don't fit very well into her schedule. Mm -hmm. um, 
I did it's, briefly read that email this morning. She sent one last night to me. So I'll take another look at it. It was a schedule. Oh, was it? Okay, mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, so she, maybe she's given up on sending, sending me schedules because I don't I don't fit into them very well. Um, I just sort of come I just sort of come on my own time. Unless she'll call and say, can you come at such and such a time? And sometimes mm -hmm. I say yes and sometimes I say mm -hmm. no. Um, it's 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 not it's not something that I can commit to like say every Tuesday night mm -hmm. or every Thursday night but a lot of people can mm -hmm. like that's better but mm -hmm. but just with the way things are it's not mm -hmm. whatever. or awful Mary and say can I come on such and such a day and then Lou will give me her answer and mm -hmm. so I think the idea is though that you're not going to need a partner that you can do this yourself okay mm -hmm. So instead of wearing out the knee, we can right. continue down the leg. Okay, yes, exactly. Focus on the ankles and spend lots of time. So maybe we'll do the, I'm suggesting we do the alternate thumb raising, uh, thumb kneading, coming down and up the leg. Okay. So, and, and maybe starting on the, again, on the outside, mm -hmm. as we come okay. down with our thumbs. Okay. The, like the outside of the, this big bone here to the outer. So we're kneading like this then? The down. alternate thumb kneading, exactly. Okay. Exactly. And let's remember not to go too fast. Yeah. And just sweep him down. Okay. Oh, is that yours? Mm -hmm. Yeah, sometimes when it's just Mary and I and I'm like massaging her legs or something and a stomach will growl, but I, I'm not even sure if it's mine or hers. So I'll say, whose stomach is that, Mary? Is that mine? <laughs> We should maybe come on the like on the inside of that. Mm -hmm. I think maybe little, we should do yeah, why that. Why don't we do same? that? Yeah. And it was just yeah, just yeah. fingertips or fingers. Mm -hmm. this uh, scooping motion, mm -hmm. which makes sense. Mm -hmm. It's very comfortable to do. Yeah, comfortable. true, true. It's peaceful, there's not a lot of thought. <laughs> <laughs> right, not a lot of technique involved. No, that's it, exactly. I'm just going to see how what your pressure is. Okay, yeah, I think we're probably about the same mm -hmm. for amount of pressure. Mm-hmm. That's not too hot, Mary, the bean bag. Okay, so we got it right. Good. Who made your bean bag? Eh? Did somebody make your bean bag for you? Just got circled on that kind of collection there back there. It's nice because it's like a quilt with the box back there. So that it keeps evenly, like. Oh, I see what you mean. Okay, yeah. all right. That would be like a technical sewing term. Uh -huh. Which is kind of confusing to me. <laughs> I'm definitely not a sewer. Oh, okay. And then when we get down to the ankles here again, mm -hmm. around the inside and outside okay. ankle bones, again, just the small circles yep. with mm -hmm. the fingertip, like just on the outside of the bones. This no. is one which mm -hmm. is really great, right, Mary? Mm -hmm. You can get right back in here. And it's also where we can get across that Achilles. Oh, mm -hmm. yes. Because the tighter this is, mm -hmm. Sorry, Mary. the tighter is that, that is, to do that? it's because I was tickling. Oh. <laughs> you know, if I'm slow and firm. Yes. But this is a more reactive foot. Mm -hmm. um, it tended to 
curl the toes mm -hmm. more, mm -hmm. and we're trying to keep them uncurled. Mm -hmm. But the idea being that the more we can loosen up the back of her leg, the less it'll point. Mm -hmm. And that's the whole right. thing is that this yes, is, is pointing. And whenever Mary needs to cough, yeah. her legs will come up all okay. tight like that. Mm -hmm. Hold it, yeah. And go around the ankle? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And if you're shoulder to shoulder, it's easier on your posture. Not mm -hmm. stepping on her toe, though. That's probably not part mm -hmm. of it. And so you're going in circles. And, it's and I'm alternating. And you can do both thumbs at the same time. Okay. Mm -hmm. And you can pick her legs up. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you can be quite firm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> More? Yep. Shall we continue, Mary? Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. Sometimes Mary needs to be... Um, suctioned and helped mm -hmm. to breathe all the way through. Mm -hmm. Thumb kneading on the top and then the, on the okay. toe work. So we'll come, we'll come down like this mm -hmm. again, alternate thumb kneading just down to where the toes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is often where I start for Mary if I'll come in in the afternoon mm -hmm. and she's in her chair and we're just watching TV or something. This, mm -hmm. this would feel wonderful right here. Mm -hmm. feel like, just, oh. just the feet, yeah. We can work back up again to where we came from. Do you ever do between the toes at all? Do you like between the toes? When we do the um, cork screen, you'll see that oh, okay. each toe is isolated oh. in, in that mm. motion. And you can just slow it right down. Yeah. Good point. Mm. And don't be afraid to be firm and slow. This is such a moment we can just... That wonderful area right in here. And another another thing that I that, that we do is like under the feet. Mm -hmm. and I usually have to get down for that. Mm -hmm. um, and then this way. Mm -hmm. If you can. Mm -hmm. You might have to raise your foot a bit higher. Is that okay, Mary? Mm -hmm. And again, yeah, exactly that. And we can kind mm -hmm. of go down as far as you can mm -hmm. with your thumbs down the foot. Mm -hmm. And then when we get to her hands, we do the same thing with her mm -hmm. hands, too. Mm -hmm. we get to that. And with this posture, it looks really easy to kneel, but it's either put both knees down or like Lorraine, one knee down, one knee up. Yeah. And if you do put this long, one so. up, make it, yeah, the outside one, and then it'll give you some more mm -hmm. room. Mm -hmm. down and then we'll do the uh, toe, toe mm -hmm. corkscrewing, which we'll do standing up usually. Okay. And and what that involves is one toe at a time. Mm -hmm. So let's start here. Mm -hmm. Okay. So with your, in this case this hand, with your thumb and forefinger just hold secure her joint, the toe joint there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like just, just kind of there, mm -hmm. just you know, hold it firm. And then with the other hand, actually and you're going out? Yes. Twisting out? Like, yes. Okay. So you can just keep your, like, your hands mm -hmm. on her toe the whole time and just, like, actually twist. Mm. There you go. And do this the same thing with her um, fingers once mm. when we get there, too. Mm. And, they, and the, this, the, um, pressure on the joint is just so that we don't dislocate or yeah okay. do something yeah. that isn't because mm -hmm. with the toe you know if it was just like kind of free flapping as mm -hmm. we're doing this it, it apparently this is what I've learned from Christine that mm -hmm. it, it just gives it too much room for movement mm -hmm. 
and then we move into the next toe so again same thing holding the toe joint and we'll corkscrew like in in same same, same right direction. same direction mm -hmm. little toe mm -hmm. this little piggy yeah. <laughs> little, little toe. Yeah. Suction right now. Okay. And then middle toe. And again, I just kind of do that. This one you can either corkscrew in or corkscrew out. Mm -hmm. But seeing as how I've got my position like this, mm -hmm. I'll corkscrew in. And then we'll change hands when we get to the next two toes so that this hand okay. becomes the support. support and then the other hand corkscrews out. Okay. But we always start like with the big toe okay. and then work. And with the towards the little. Yeah, and with the hands too, we'll do that. We'll start with the thumb when we get there and then. Mm -hmm. And ready for the fourth mm -hmm. toe then? So. Right, so change. Yeah. Oh, and then this one. And then just corkscrew. Oh, oh, yeah. nice to have some skies today open. Yes, actually daylight, hey? Mm -hmm. <laughs> daylight in the daytime, imagine that. Mm. And now I think we've probably done what we need to do. And to finish off the leg, Christine, I think sometimes suggests this at the end of the whole body massage, mm -hmm. but as, as I'm doing a leg, I'll, I'll finish it off by light reflexive stroking, mm -hmm. which is, and apparently this feels really good, is just stroking, but starting at the hip where we began, and just stroking down. One hand following the other from the, from the hip, yeah. right down to the, right down to the toes. Light. Light, light. exactly. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, mm -hmm. one um, arm definitely under the knee. Mm -hmm. And I think I'll just move the pillow again for that, Mary. Mm -hmm. Just so we can bring the knees up. Is that comfortable? Mm -hmm. Okay. Put that right there for now while it's warm. Mm -hmm. And then I'll go, I'll go first. Mm -hmm. Do we leave the bean bag there? Should we keep that there? Yeah, we'll be fine because we'll, we'll be above that. Okay. Wait till she's a little yeah. looser. Mm -hmm. And some suction there. And just to start with, this is perfect. This under here? Yeah, I can right. control oh, things better. Yeah. Okay, good point. I'm sure that's what mm -hmm. I've done before. But yeah, it is. Okay. You, we okay. always do it that okay. way. So I'm gonna watch you. Before. Yeah, yeah. Well, and we just do one at a time, anyways. Can I go higher up, Mary? Mm -hmm. Right there. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then as I'm coming down, you come up. Mm -hmm. Lead with the knee. Mm -hmm. Right there. Okay. 
Right. And should I be kind of straining, like pulling on the heel a bit, coming out to straighten? Um, no, I'll show you what she likes, okay. though, once we finish this, as far as... Okay. I think I think her hand is on our mm -hmm. on her heel just for support okay. more than anything. Okay, so now I'm coming down so you mm -hmm. can start your case of downstairs trying to get at the geese in the yard. Oh, is that what he's after? Mm -hmm. I thought maybe it was geese, an, yeah. it was an intruder. So you can start coming up. Mm -hmm. And there we go. There you basically have your leg pumping. And I'll replace that because it's still warm. Is that okay there, Mayor? Now what she's often asked me to do when she's been in her chair downstairs is just as I will as I, then I will kneel on the floor to get mm -hmm. the um, to get the angle right, but it's just um, press like up push up on her foot yeah that's a good one so it's a so, stretch in here no it's actually going to be a stretch all in here mm -hmm. is what it's going to be because then and and right now I I'm wondering. Yeah, I guess suppose we can do both feet at once. I'll watch is, for the first. Come on. Okay, and, and I just, I put force mm -hmm. here, and just to kind of like, as much as I can, push her foot towards her face, and she'll tell me how much pressure to put, mm -hmm. and it's usually quite a bit. Mm -hmm. And then I hold it there. Okay. So she kind of taught yeah. me this herself. Okay, wonderful. So am I ready to go with this foot, Mary? You just tell me when to stop. Quite a, I'm, I'm always mm -hmm. surprised at how much force mm -hmm. she wants me to put behind this. Mm -hmm. Right there, okay, and I'll hold it. Mm -hmm. It's usually five, ten seconds. Mm -hmm. And release. Mm -hmm. And then it's good to massage after you've done it, just okay. to ease so, it up. So as Michelle is applying pressure, Just keep applying it until she says to stop. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah I know it's surprising. Yeah. There, there. And then just hold it. Mm. There. Okay. And we'll do each one one more time here. Is that okay? Mm -hmm. All right. So I'll go here. See, that's why I'm not quite sure if mm -hmm. we should do it together in case... Do you want mm -hmm. us to do it both at the same time? No, separately. Okay. Mm -hmm. That way, because in case the force is different, mm -hmm. right? Because each of your feet are, are, are different. Mm -hmm. And you'll find it easier the second time. Mm -hmm. More trusting, right? That, yeah, right, right. Yeah. That, that what you're doing is okay. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so I'll hold yeah. it there. Mm. Mm. And it's easier the second time because you've loosened it up exactly. from the first time and the brain knows what's mm -hmm. going to happen, so it gives yeah, up you easier. Okay, Mary, you're going to start pushing. Mm -hmm. So, and we've done the light reflexive stroking for the leg. So, is it comfortable to leave your legs just like this, Mary? Is that all, that's all good for you? Okay. It's always checking in too, I right? See how you always check in to make sure she's comfortable. Mm -hmm. And even just watching her, mm -hmm. like if you just watch yeah. her, you can you can tell something's up the second it is, yeah. whether mm -hmm. it's good, bad, or indifferent. You watch and, her pillow now. Yeah. And that light reflex stroking, mm -hmm. what you were getting at, that yeah. is good to do a little bit right after the leg pumping. Oh, as well. Just okay. erases. I use it as an eraser, okay. a tactile eraser, because it will evaporate any discomfort that you've done, mm -hmm. that light reflex stroking overrides mm -hmm. any poking, pressing, straining. Well, that's why everybody yes. likes that so much. It really anesthetizes the area so oh, that okay. it isn't going to resist you the next time. It won't have a muscle memory of pain. Mm. Cool. It'll flood the brain with a very pleasant overall skin sensation. And one more time, and that's mm -hmm. probably good. And I'll 
Put her pillow back under her hands here. Mary's a well-loved person in this town, and the whole town wants to help. We're just the tip of the iceberg. We're, we represent the hands of hundreds of people that would love to be helping, helping you, Mary. And, and it's important to bring that message. And then the other way around, Mary and I intend to change the world, one massage at a time. Mm -hmm. Better get that message. <laughs> We're serious. This woman is a, a serious, organized person, and she is hell-bent to make a difference. And, and we have. We have young people massaging Mary that have, have turned their lives around by just the experience of massaging her and learning what to do and being able to come and be in Mary's home and meet her family, be integrated into her community. And we have friends that have been lifelong friends of Mary's that know that this is not an antidote to their grieving, but it's going to really, really help in the aftermath of being able to remember their friend in such a, a hands-on way. And then we're gonna go down the arm. So again, we can do the alternate thumb kneading here. And again, we're going to open up the circulation by doing the shoulder first. And we can just pop this particular outfit up. And then you can wrap your fingers all around. Good. Even though Mary doesn't move her arms, it feels good, right? Yeah. Well, oh, you know what? Hey, let's use some oil. Mary, can we use you for the oil holder? Yes. There we go. She's got such lovely skin. Mm -hmm. And again, one of our focal points will be elbows for pressure points, for avoiding pressure sores. So all of the thumb kneading. Hey, that thumb kneading. Little ones? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> and you can also open it up and do one, two, yes. Right, left, right, left. Yes. Very good. That doesn't No, it doesn't. <laughs> but it's doing a lot better than it was half hour ago. Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, you're nice and warm. Feel how cool my arm is? It's warming up with you. My warmth and inspiration here. It's nice to feel like you touching me, Mary. I should do this all the time. It's neat. And you can feel with your fingers too, right? It's nice. I think I'll emphasize that with people whose hands can't move, you know, to be able to put them on somebody. It's really nice. Now, what I do out here at Mary's Elbow, mm -hmm. Elaine is a little awkward because I'll do little tiny thumb kneadings okay. all around the elbow itself. Yeah, it has some more oil. And then we can do it with the palm of our hand like this too. Great. Okay, and then we kind of go up and down. Okay. So we're going to stand. And we're going to have, yeah, there we go. And again, we can get some coconut oil on. And this alternate thumb. You might want an aerial one for this, Tabby. Okay, and now you can stand up. Okay. Because her arm will lift up. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. And then... Again, alternate thumb kneading. And I'll, let me show you something that's easy too, is hold on with the wrist and then with one thumb. There you go. And you can be quite firm, Elaine. Okay, I I'm, think I'm you're being a gentle. little wussy. <laughs> so don't be afraid to be firm. Okay. Is that let me get my hands on. Is that Great. Sure and then you get your hands on mine, okay? And then we're doing little, so right on the tip of your thumbs, little tiny strokes. 
And then as you bend the wrist like this, you can still do little tiny strokes. Okay. Doesn't that feel great, Mary? <laughs> and the same thing, Melissa, if you bend up more like that. So again, Mary's hands are often like this, but by giving them that motion and having them bent, that really does help the circulation. And you can lift it up even more so you get that postural drainage of the okay. limb up and then, great. And then you can move right into the top of the hand. You know, and you can move your body back. And Nick, you've got strong legs, but I would suggest lean against the bed because it gives you more support, you know. And thumb kneading again right into the palm. Nice work. Don't be afraid to be firm. You really want to get the circulation yeah. moving. And she's so <laughs> well rubbed mm -hmm. that you don't have to worry about... Okay. It's more sudden movements where I make mistakes. You know, I'll move something before it's warmed up. Okay, okay so let's do the corkscrewing of each Upwards. finger. Yes. And then I stabilize it right at the base here, okay. there, and then corkscrew with the other one. You are a good person to remember things. <laughs> Middle one is up for grabs. Up for grabs. Doesn't matter which way you go. Mix it up. And it really is good to have lots of oil here because sometimes it's at the very end of Mary's extremity and the circulation is compromised because mm -hmm. she isn't moving it around. So you can really, that's lovely. Yeah. And right out. And Lila takes such good care of Mary's nails. They're just, they're beautiful. Aren't they? Yeah. Okay. And then we're going to do the palm like this. And we can lift a bit. Okay. How are we for lifting, Mary? Because if we lift, it also mobilizes her shoulder. Okay. So gently bring it up a bit more so you're straight. There we go. And then we can work. I'm a little higher than you. Come on up. You can hold. Oh, the, there you go. Okay. There you go. Gotcha. Yeah, and then there. the thumb kneading right in the palm. So even though there's a lot of muscle wasting, and this is a very classic situation with ALS, the muscle wasting happened first in your arms right there. That's what we were first massaging was Mary's arms. Mm -hmm. And that's where she noticed the most change with the disease. Yeah, it's just lovely. Let me show you what that feels like on you, Lorraine, because it's just such a cool stroke. So it's like this. Isn't that neat? <coughs> and you get all into the base of the fingers. And especially here, it just feels so good to get all this aspect okay. done, you know. Yeah, yeah. The top here doesn't have much meat on it. Oh, okay. But you know, this okay. is, right, and this is right, where right. Mary's had a lot of the muscle wasting here. Okay. You know, that was one of the first areas, right, Mary? Was where okay. she felt the muscles disappearing were oh. to do with her hands. Okay, okay. You know, and uh, so right. where we got a lot of bulk here. Yes. You know, just pretend she still got it. Right. Because it feels because so good. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. And that these are the attachments for all what's here in the forearm. Yeah. And and we just don't want it to keep getting tighter and fixed. Okay. Because the, the tendency, if she wasn't getting so much massage, is it right. would just become yeah. more claw-like. Yeah, 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 yeah. And we're okay. trying to keep it nice and loose and everything moving. So even though she doesn't move her arms mm -hmm. anymore, mm -hmm. the more that we can get each joint yeah. moving and massage, the better. Good work, Elaine. And then we can put it down. And we rest it on the bear. She's got a really nice position here for keeping the curve. And then the effleurage up, okay. right to the shoulder. And we can just glide back without pressure. Okay. Kind of like what? Um, I'm going like that. Oh, okay. Okay, probably more than I am. Okay. And like leaning with your stance again, one foot in front of the other. Yeah. <laughs> and you come down lightly? Yeah, just kind of gliding down. Okay. It's better than just going like that. Right, Mary? <laughs> right, okay. They're like stopping. Okay. Yeah. And that's good posture, the way Melissa's got a knee up and you've got that leg forward. Okay. That's fantastic because you'll lean onto your hands with your body weight, which is great. She looks pretty innocent, but she takes quite good pressure. Right. She's <laughs> used to it. So. Well, once her, we were talking, we had the TV on or something. We were in the living room, and I was gabbing away. And um, <laughs> I hear these grunts, and I didn't even look up. I'm focusing on what I'm doing, and I'm talking a mile a minute. I've taken over her, her role of talking a mile <laughs> a minute. And uh, 
And she's trying to tell me, ow, like I'm going way too hard because I wasn't focused on what I was doing. Uh -huh. <laughs> I was focused on the story I was trying to tell her. And, well, you're yeah. the only one that's got the high sign for two rocks. Right? Okay, yeah, <laughs> I did it right, two, we'll right on her leg. Okay. <laughs> Oh, actually, I had one of those too, about the legs. That's okay. If you it's feast her, yes, then it makes more sense, and it's just a matter of doing a eight on its side, which is just a bit different than just going around in circles mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. in one direction and circles the other direction. Which I could do just if I lose this whole figure eight totally. concept. Totally. Yeah. Okay. You don't have oh, to do that's what I was doing. Okay. We'll take okay. zeros, too. We'll take zeros are good. I'm, I zeros are zeros. eights. But it's just that kind of loop de loop mm -hmm. And the whole thing is just when you do the rhythm, mm -hmm. it's not like you really have to understand it, but your body will remember how to do that. Okay. Looks like she's dancing there. <laughs> 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 I think you're conducting the choir, yeah. Mary. <laughs> you're going to have to show the choir. They were asking me, when do we get to see it? And so, that's great. It's like a love-in, you know, coming to massage Mary. It's like having a very special date and... It is the most special date that I have of the week. And I know it's like that for everybody that massages Mary, her friends, family, volunteers. And she's so receptive, you know. Um, just because she's paralyzed doesn't mean she's receptive. You know, Mary has a personality of being a teacher. Mm -hmm. And there's that curiosity and there's that always learning type of personality and always teaching and she has a way of teaching us that's non-judgmental you know and it's it's just wonderful being in her presence and uh, it's been wonderful doing this project with Mary so that we can that we can teach everybody how to handle these hands-on situations that look a little intimidating and a little beyond the normal massaging that we might be doing every day. So it's amazing that these hands in their paralysis have been able to do so much for people. What do you think is important about teaching the family and and loved ones, close friends about massaging Mary? How do you think that benefits the family members and the close friends? And Mary. I think that massaging Mary benefits friends and family in a number of ways. The most important is that they don't feel helpless. And Mary's given people an opportunity to feel useful. And that really takes care of a lot of the pain. It helps soothe the pain of loss and anticipation of Missy Mary and I really know from past experience that the more you can touch somebody they stay at the ends of your fingertips when they're not here and I know that when Mary's not here I'll still be able to feel her I'll still be able to feel what it was like to touch her and it's like locking that in is that a comfortable rest Like you're massaging me. I can feel your hands moving right on my elbow. Now you're massaging down my forearm. Very good massage, Mary. Thank you. So that's where we are. Then we did a little bit around the shoulders. We did biceps, triceps, and now we're just doing forearm and hands. Mm -hmm. 
Is Lori a good teacher, Mary? What is she going to do? Say no? <laughs> yes. <laughs> She's always <laughs> honest. <laughs> Now's for the fingerboard. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right, right. I like that fingerboard. That's a great idea. Yeah, well, it kind of yeah. mimics the uh, the computer idea that she has yeah. downstairs, but but it's manual like we do yeah, it right now. So that's good. Probably a little bit faster than her computer, too. So now we can do, again, the corkscrewing on mm -hmm. the same as we did with the toes, so mm -hmm. securing the... Um, and you could pick up her arms so that you don't lean over. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. And leave her elbows on the bed? Yeah. Okay. Mm. Now, so you're holding... I'm, I'm, again, yeah. I'm, I'm securing the joint. Okay. And so with this hand... Tongue? Yeah. Okay. And, and we're screwing in, in towards her. In towards. Yeah, towards. just like the way we did with the big oh, toe. Okay. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Okay. And then I find it easier standing. Mm -hmm. You I can, can vary it because we're different heights. Really? <laughs> <laughs> And then you can bend the wrist and into the back of the hand like this. And then you can corkscrew each finger. Nice work. Now the trick is to bend Mary's hand high enough that you don't have to lean over. Oh, okay. So, and your back will be better preserved if you're... Okay. Yeah. And I always use this front leg just to go forward. Yeah, that's it. And if you lean against the chair, right away your back won't give out. And then we can go down each finger. And Mary remembers if you miss a finger. <laughs> yeah. And then maybe onto the next mm -hmm. finger here. And so we'll secure the joint and, secure the joint and mm -hmm. right, corkscrew mm -hmm. in towards Mary. Do you want me to suction, Mary? Okay. That's the way I do it, seeing yep. as how I'm already positioned here, but it can go either way because that is the midline. Mm -hmm. So just because I've got my hand there. I can feel slight little tiny mm. cracks every once in a while when I'm doing this. In, your, in her fingers? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like here. That's good right at the base here. Because Mary's hands are in one position mm -hmm. all the time. Except, you know, when she's transferred and that kind of thing. But it's really nice to get all of this rubbed. And Lila takes really good care of Mary's hands. So for someone in this position so much, Mary's hands are probably in the best shape of anyone mm -hmm. I've ever seen is what. So I want you to emphasize where the fingers attach, right, at that end. Yeah. But the other end, even though there's some muscle wasting here in the palm, pretend it's not wasted because it feels good right here, eh, Mary? And that's, Mary's hand is resting often in these positions, but mm -hmm. just like it felt good when she was pre-ALS, it feels really, really good when her hands are compromised like this. So you can really spend a lot of time at the heel of the hand. There you go, Nick. Thanks. No matter what the position. Mm -hmm. And then we can probably just finish up with the, uh, mm -hmm. the light stroke mm -hmm. in the shoulder down to the fingertips. Great teaching, Lorraine. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, you're the master, Christine. Mm -hmm. Nice to see somebody else. Mm. Good, that's wonderful. Mm -hmm. I'll just pass along what you've told me a thousand times, mm -hmm. that's all. Um, so I will put the pillow back for your hands here. Mm -hmm. This side seems, yeah, this side would be way too rough. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then your, your sheepskin's fine. Mary's massage people have done different movements, and Melissa does 
lots of arm movements. And then this one where Mary's elbows are straight. Mm -hmm. And usually when you put your arm above your head, you kind of rotate it as it's going yeah. over. So how are we doing? And I think you can stretch out the elbow. Nope. Nope. No, no. Is that enough? Okay. And then stretch it right out. And then we'll go up again. Is it easier, Mary, when we're more towards the inside or the outside? Inside? No? Nope. Right about there? Okay. Okay, say when. When. Is that enough? And then I go back and do some thank you to that joint. Mm -hmm. I'm going to unzip you so I can show Elaine how to do some of the rib raking. And we'll just slip this right out. You can pull it towards you. Okay. Yeah. And then we'll tuck this away so that you can see with Mary. We've got easy access to in between her ribs. Mm -hmm. And if you put a little on your fingertips, yeah. then you can push away on my side and I'll push away on your side. So I'm going to be pushing like this. Okay. And you can make little claws out of your fingers. You've got nice short nails. Yeah. <laughs> and let them fit in the groove. Let me show you. So it's like this. It'll be about three of them okay. in the groove okay. here. Okay, let them fit. Make more of a claw-like and push towards me. One set, Just one. and yeah. then the other. Yes. And one, and then the other. And I'll show you how to be a bit smoother about it, Elaine. Okay. So you can start right at the sternum, mm -hmm. and push off way out there underneath. Okay. And the sternum, and push off. Like that. Okay. Yeah. And don't be afraid to be more on the tips. You want to get in between the ribs, so don't go so fast. Feel the groove. Okay. And and then let it glide along the groove. That's better. And then the other one's right behind it. Okay. So one push and the other's pushing. That's it, yes. And I would put the knee up, okay. just so that you're able to last a while. Okay. You got it? Good, and I'll do my side now. One, two. So I'm really letting it groove along there. Like that. Now we can Go a little lower, like this, and again, it's all off the sternum, like that. Okay. Okay? That's it. Mm -hmm. There, very nice. And that keeps the little intercostal muscles loosened up, awesome. and it makes it easier for Mary to take breaths. But you should be more off the sternum, so I'll don't be afraid to back. come farther back. Okay. There's large pectoralis muscles like to get a stretch. That's very nice. One and then the other. Nice work. Great. So Janice, I'm going to tell you what we're doing for respiratory. And we're yeah, doing so that. We did, that rib. We did yeah. the rib breaking. Then we lift Mary's shirt up. And because she's got such a teeny weeny tummy, that's what's challenging, right? Mary has the teeny weeny patellas, the teeny weeny everything, <laughs> everything. <laughs> and no tummy, you know, because her ribs are going to be ending like right there and then her hip is starting like this much below it. So she is long in the leg for a tiny person, but short in the tummy. But this is where we need to spend lots of time, is all around here and doing this fingertip kneading. And it loosens up the diaphragm. The diaphragm is a big dome-shaped muscle. Comes from the front in like this shape, right over to the back. So when we're underneath in the back, just keep going. Yeah. When we're underneath in the back, we're loosening up all of the back and the thorax and that kind of thing. When we're coming around the front, we're doing all the rib breaking all the way down her ribs. Mm -hmm. The breasts get in the way on women, but we're lucky that Mary's <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, sorry, Mary. modest in the breasts, so that we don't have to worry. We yes. can do quite a bit of rib breaking. The other day we accidentally had a little show, but, <laughs> but my hand was covering it up for the camera, so... We won't get any higher It'll ratings edit then. Me. Yeah. And it could be flash. <laughs> that flash. Yeah, was that with you? Yes. Yes. But in the edit, it turned out okay. Okay. Now we're going to go up this way. Okay. And Mary's got this uh, gastro tube.
for having lunch and that mm -hmm. kind of thing. Mm -hmm. But at the bottom of things here, we're going to tuck this way up here. And Mary, I'm just going to tuck your tubes and things. Oops, out of sight. Okay, so along the bottom here, Elaine, mm -hmm. we're going to just put a little bit of coconut oil there. Okay. And Mary will edit out that brush shot. We just had a You're little flashing us. <laughs> unduly revealing. Okay, so here you can push away okay. and push away on the lower ribs like that. Straight. Yes. So and you can open it up a bit like we were doing here, the claw like grip. Oh, okay. Don't be afraid to be on your Alternating? tips. Alternating? Yes. yes. One, two, very nice. One. Let's start further back. Yes, yes. exactly. Okay. Great. It's the feeding too. Yeah, and that's intimidating. Because you look and you go, oh darn, what am I going to do now, right? But we'll show her how to get around it. So we take our fingertips and just keep going. And we work all around. The, and, and the diaphragm and the costal angle, they're at an angle here. So they're not straight across, they're just like this. And then even if we have the other end of it, it's only like right there. So we tuck Mary's pants down just a little bit here so that we've got a bit more tummy to play with. And the ribs are gonna keep going, keep going, way down to there. Those are what are called costal ribs. And there's floaters just, around Sorry, I just gotta figure out where you are, because I think you're a bit low. Yeah, no, her rib Feel is actually, that? yeah, you're, you're coming up from underneath it, but right. the rib, it's easier to make sure you don't go too far as to yeah. come down. But if you feel this one, feel where we go back here, right there. So what I yeah, do, I'll show you my yeah, stroke. Well, yeah. So I go way around the back here, because one of our biggest concerns is the lowest lobe. Yeah. The lowest lobe is where things are going to fill up, and if we're going to get any infection setting in, it usually starts in those kind of areas where there's congestion. So your hand can wrap to Mary's shape. You just tuck it around, and we have like coconut oil and that kind of thing to make it easier slippage, and you get in the back there, and then you just slowly pull towards you and it gives some compression to the chest as you're doing that, and then you slip your other one in. And is that too much pressure in the front, Mary? And it really helps ease up her breathing. So you work right from the sternum and all the way out towards the attachment here. The big pectoralis muscle attaches right into here. So we do fingertip kneading in the back, fingertip kneading in the front. Or? A little harder. Okay. I think we're pretty equal okay. from seam. And I'll show you this one. It's called rib breaking. And, yep. And you get a claw like position to your fingers. You're good, Peggy. <laughs> you got a real knack. I remember that with the babies. There was a mob scene that day when I was teaching you baby massage. And you had a really good way of working with your little one and then you can go right down yep. and even more of a curve in your fingertips yeah yeah and then back up again and all along inferior to the clavicle here mm -hmm. and you can work with little teeny fingertip kneadings all below the clavicle there and that really helps ease up the tension. And it's nice for people to learn that they don't have to get oil out yeah. and they don't have to have skin on skin contact to make yeah. a big difference to the circulation. But it makes a big difference at the end of the day. You know, it just, just helps, the, you, it helps her relax. Mm -hmm. yeah. It would work for me. <laughs> and then at the top here, just like everybody loves getting the top of their shoulders done, this is one that I haven't taught you. It's alternate thumb kneading, and they're little circles that go up and out. And out. Yeah. Above her collarbone? Well, I was just practicing there, but where I meant to go was, yeah, all along the very top of the shoulder there. Nice work, Peggy. Mm. Yeah. You got Mary purring. <laughs> <laughs> and then you can slow it down, too. 
And the slower you go, the deeper you get. So it's a nice way to take your time. And Mary does a lot of head movement. So these muscles, the trapezius muscle out here is getting a workout. Mm -hmm. And our focus in Mary's general overall massages are to be able to help her with the tension it is to keep right. her head. Right. She doesn't wear a collar all the time. She yeah. wears a collar for support being transferred, but and her head is supported, but she's still using muscles to keep it in place. And her leg, uh -huh. she communicates with her legs. So, that, that too hard? Do you want me to get Lou suction? for a suction? Okay. okay, Lou, we produced some pretty good stuff. Okay, here we go, Elaine. Okay. We're going to give the Mary's rear end a good rub. Okay, Over and there. first Quite what we'll do is we'll lift. We'll just go up and down and give her the okay. lift. So up, up. There we go. And that's great because you can see her really moving. Mm -hmm. Terrific. And then we'll come out a little further towards ourselves and again lift up. And that's right on the sacrum. Okay. And it's called the sacroiliac joint. It's a joint that hooks up the triangular bone, the sacrum, to the pelvic girdle. Mm -hmm. And um, where people have little spinous processes is right in the very center on the sacrum, like below where the lumbar vertebra end. It's important that we're underneath and we can um, really feel all the bumps, like this one that we sit on, where all the hamstring muscles come to. Okay. Follow up there. I'll come and see where you are. It's the, uh, oh yeah, come right under. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, the bone there. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to so go just around, around to around the kind of. Lorraine's side here. And yeah, I'll show you how far I go. So I, I should go under you, right? This is yeah, if you want to come around here, Tabby, and see how my hands are on top of Lorraine's, it's a really great way for people to learn. Okay, now this hand. Feel how it's under, and if you want to get over my shoulder, me or her, I'm talking Sorry. to my camera lady. Okay. Yeah. okay, but good for you. So yeah, and then our fingers are now on what's called Mary's ischial tuberosity. It's where all the hamstring muscles from the back of her thigh hook up to, and that's a point of breakdown. That's one of those pressure sore possibilities right mm -hmm. there, where it's a bony protuberance, and then if we go up here into the whole mm -hmm. hip area then we feel out here here's another place and okay. that's okay. going to be the head of the femur because you can come at it from this angle okay. head of the femur and it's right around to there okay let's go up here and head for the mid back so let's get on top of our underwear this time and mm -hmm. if you put your hand right on mine Lorraine yeah and we'll go right for the center and this one will get there. So we're, and then lift up. Now we're on that bony flat. It's a big flat triangular bone. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's right in the center. Are we in the center there, Mary? I think we've got it right. Yeah. And that's a huge potential for skin breakdown because that's where the most pressure is coming down with her in a reclined position. Mm -hmm. And because her spine is curved, there's this tremendous emphasis mm -hmm. on the bottom mm -hmm. so right in this area and then her back is curved mm -hmm. right up to her head here mm -hmm. so it pushes down mm -hmm. in there and the hips don't quite have as much so go right for there and I'll go to the other side and I'll meet you in the middle and we can get our tips touching and then we can back away so I think I'm in the middle come to me there I am okay uh-huh and there we are. Okay. So um, I think we're in the middle there. Yeah. yeah. And then we can start. You can have your side and I can have my side. Right. And you just work in with your fingertips. So we're levering up. Okay. And uh, levering up and then massaging around. And so circular strokes and just alternating like one, two, one, two, and then little circles under there okay. is good. And if you feel your wrist yeah. beginning to loosen, Go to another stroke, flatten them out, and ease them up that way. You don't have to bring them out to, to change it and get rid of that tension. Okay. You can just change your stroke underneath here. Okay, so let's touch in the middle. Yeah, 
and then come on out to the edge. So we'll just take little steps and get more to the outside. This is really good. Well, this is a tandem where you can see when you get in rhythm, you get it's very uplifting. And then we can go back towards the middle. And wow, you make it look effortless, Mike. Okay, so Michael's making this look like it's a cinch, but actually you'll find it's a real workout for your biceps. So if you haven't been to the gym today, and Mary's like teeny weeny, like we're not lifting a whole lot of poundage well, here, but it still really gets the arms well toned up. This is a site of most optimum pressure source. The head of the femur on yeah, the outside, yeah, oh, okay. when she was, but she isn't a sideline kind of person, but sitting on her back yeah. like that, or sitting in the chair, right away that's the breakdown site. Mm. Because it's got the boniness and not enough of the muscle protection. So pain comes out of there? Well, more of the circulation is stopped, oh. and so the tissue will break down and you get a pressure sore. Oh, okay. So by massaging it, that's our biggest preventative for pressure sores, is just being able to keep rubbing those spots. Right. Yeah, and uh, the skin won't open up. No. Because you're getting the circulation mechanically moved around in there. So Mary, does the side that I'm on feel anything at all like what Melissa's doing? Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm groping in the dark here. <laughs> yeah, it kind of feels like that. It, it, you're using like the leverage and just like mostly her body weight and you don't really have to do anything except for wiggle <laughs> so it's good so not a lot of pressure up with the fingers yeah, oh, yeah. you can press oh. it yeah but there's like her body weight and everything so she's all coming down on top of I, you so right okay okay but yeah like see how she's moving up and down in the cushion that's pretty good right isn't it it's not too much <laughs> <laughs> and that's how we work the whole back because Mary doesn't take to being on her side easily. Do right. you want us to work up? Mm -hmm. So if you just move up maybe half a foot mm -hmm. and then you can, this one's a little hard to slip under because you got to slip right under your back. Okay. But you go right to the middle of your spine and our fingers can touch. Oh, okay, <laughs> okay. Now you got both hands okay? under there? <laughs> Yeah, both hands. Giving her a wedgie, kind of. Yeah. So. And then she'll yeah, leave her up. So I do that. So we're about this level here, and the innervation for Mary's tummy and stomach and intestines come from here. So often when we massage here, she gets a gurgle and a response from her digestive system. Now this is where it gets awkward. Mike, like when we come up higher, we've got this curved support here, and we still can't do underneath it like we can with blankets and things. So what I've been doing is getting this angle, like so I'm here, but yeah, but I've got my hands angling up like that. Are you over my shoulder, Dan? Am I in the way totally? So we're right around this area now, and then we would do the same thing. What a lift, eh? Wow, I never get this reaction when I'm massaging. And you can feel Mary's got really good muscles back there. And you just keep going and I'm just going to check your stroke there. Oh yeah, that's perfect. Great. Okay, so now we're above her pant. Yeah. Okay, and then come on up. How's that, Mary? Okay, you're on my side. You go over get on over, your side. Get on my own side. <laughs> get on your own <laughs> side. On, sorry, Mary. <laughs> okay, so you can get real close to her spine and then an inch oh, away. Yeah, yeah. And those muscles, those erector spinae, they always need help. Right, Mary? Yeah. And these are Mary's favorite spots coming up, right? And this is really good for the respiratory. For and that's what's congesting with Mary now. Mm -hmm. Is so we need lots of help keeping her lungs clear. And the elasticity between her ribs, nice and loose. Yeah. Okay. Then what I would do, Elaine, here is switch hands. Okay. Okay. So we take that one out, and we go in at a different angle. So we lift her forward a little, and we're going to slide our hand underneath and go down to where we were before. Okay. So you go All on your down. side. You're on my side again. <gasps> Sorry. Get over there. Yeah, I'm hogging. <laughs> Sorry, Mary. Okay, and you might want to put a knee up there, Paige. Okay. Yeah. 
And here I put one supportive hand in the front mm -hmm. and then in the back. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. And this is, I'd say, Mary's favorite is up in the rhomboid. So it's right up in here okay. on the back of you. Yeah. So when we're coming up, we're coming up here, here. And then this tends to be her favorite. There's a levator scapular muscle there that she, oh, I've got the favorite side. Pull the clothing away. And then we're massaging with pressing back against the chair and like this. And with our fingers levering up. And yes, you've got it. And then you can make little circles, Elaine, okay. with your fingertips. There we go. How's the pressure, Mary? Is it balanced? I think you've got a natural massage enthusiast. And then I'm up. Okay, now let Elaine know when she hits that really favorite spot of yours, okay? And you might want to come around this it. side for that, <laughs> Tabby. It'll be like if, yeah, you oh, are. Right, oh, I can feel it. And it's yes. in the rhomboids. Like these are rhomboids here between the between the scapula and the spine right in here. Mm -hmm. So usually it's, you can see where I'm doing it on Elaine here, Tabby. It's usually like up around here and then do this kind of thing with your fingertips and little circles. And just, if you go slower actually, you'll get deeper. Okay. I think we're a little fast. Okay. How's that, Mary? Okay, mm -hmm. let her know when she hits that spot that you really like. And are you on my side again? I am. Yes, sorry. you are. <laughs> Following me. <laughs> Stay I on your you side of the spine. There we go. There. Okay. There. That's yeah. it. <laughs> See, you get the extra squint when you get on that good spot. Nice. And then go slow. And that really helps loosen up Mary's chest, too. Good work, Elaine. Now, I think we need to do something about our posture. So, okay. if there's any way, whichever knee works. Yeah. That one's better? That one's better. Okay. Yeah. So we look like we're off to the races, but again, we'll preserve our back a little more. Mm -hmm. Okay. How's that, Mary? Nice. Okay. Good. We made it up the back. How are we doing back there, Mary? Isn't that nice? Double trouble? I'll feel you. Come over here and I'm right on where my tips are there on your side. Yeah. yeah, I go really close to that bump, to the vertebra there. And is that the very center of it, Mary, or are we too high? Should we go any lower? We're right on it. It's accurate. Great. And this is one of the areas that I try and spend a lot of time on, so I'll do a bit at the beginning. Then I'll put the heat pack on, mm -hmm. do her legs, then come back. And do the uh, neck again. Going at the same time. And you can work right up. So I've got one hand on the other side, one hand on this side. Mm -hmm. So Mary has a nodding effect to the movement of her head, especially that bump. That, yeah, that's an eye opener. <laughs> it's the C7, T1 area. So where the thoracic vertebra come up and meet the cervical vertebra, they change shape and there's a bump there. And on Mary it's very pronounced because the muscles have wasted on either side and the bony prominences are really easy to spot. And you massage all around that, really easing up the attachments. And this is also where her spine is very stiff and Mary doesn't have a prone or a supine position that's horizontal. She's in an upright position, slightly reclining for the best breathing. And the way her spine is curving in a flexion, we want to keep it well supported so that she's not uncomfortable. So easing this up, it just helps slow down that what's called ankylosing of the spine, the fixing of the curve, so it doesn't calcify so quickly. And for anybody, this is a favorite. Right, Mary? Mm-hmm. And massaging Mary's face from this aspect is an option, and especially to help clear her sinuses. 
because all of the face is what's called upper respiratory. And there's all sorts of ways to improve Mary's breathing by just working out from the nose itself, right under the eyes. So you can take your glasses off for a minute, Mary, is that okay? Just put them up here. And the lower orbit of the eye has sinus drainage points in it called the infraorbital foramen right here. And then all along the ridge of the eyebrow, there's another notch up there called the supraorbital foramen right up here. So the more we're able to massage along there, it really accentuates the drainage of the sinuses in the face, right up and around to the lower lobe of the ear. And that upward movement is the direction of pressure that you want with the lower half of the face. And then with the upper forehead area, it's the same idea, starting from the midpoint and coming out to the temples with your thumb needing strong stretching strokes. And then I work all around the ears themselves. So I sandwich the ear between my two fingers like this, and I mobilize the ear. And that really helps the sinuses drain and pinch all the way around. And then the very favorite is this fingertip kneading, a game where you can't see it. We can turn Mary's head and work around here. Because remember, Mary's head is her communication indicator and she can move facial muscles and she can nod. She can also turn her head in the direction of an answer where she will look at what she needs. So being able to keep all of this loose and the sternocleidomastoid muscle loose is really, really important. And then I can put two hands underneath like this and I'm pulling up this hand, the other hand. So it's kind of like a fingertip traction all along the base of her skull. It's called the occipital ridge. And that's where the large muscle group of the trapezius attaches up here. And also the long spinal muscles called the erector spinae come up and they attach right in there. So I'm going like this, one side, the other side, one side, the other side. And I work from the center out to the edge. Okay, so Mary, I'm gonna take your glasses. There we go. There. Okay, here comes my hand. Is that pressure okay, Mary? And then you can work your way up each stroke a little higher on the face. Above the lips? Yeah. yeah. And it's really nice to have the coconut oil yeah. on Mary's face because it doesn't get dry and nice. And then we'll come off the bridge of the nose. Oh, outer flare of the nostril. Yeah. Yeah. It's Very nice. Yeah. yeah, and just you can rest. Okay. You yeah. know, once you get used once to the stretch, yeah, you can rest. And then at the outer flare of the nostril, that's it. Just go down to that outer flare. And still use your fingertips. Mm -hmm. It's always a tendency to want to use your thumbs because mm -hmm. it's easier. You can go down a little bit more where the outer flare is of the nostril. That's it. You got it right there. That's a point that opens up the breathing. Mm -hmm. So it's really important. And don't make it little. It's always a long stroke. Make it continuous. Yeah. Way up. So you're cutting off a little too short. Mm -hmm. Yep. All the way up to the temple. Perfect. Mm -hmm. And then yeah. Back down. Yeah, and then come off the bridge of the nose each time, moving up to the lower eye. That's it. The long stroke, perfect. Can I stay in that and redo that for a bit? Yeah, I usually do three times along each. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then I'll come off the nose as I'm working up. That's it exactly. I'm just tracing the lower border of the eye, with enough pressure to make a difference to the sinuses. It really helps clear the sinuses mm -hmm. and also lubricate them because she gets quite dry. And right out to the ear again. And then start on the forehead again. 
So coming up the nose with the thumbs, and you can just let your hands rest. Yeah, and just come right up, and then out the eyebrows themselves. Yeah, and you can trace the eyebrow right. first. You're okay. a little wild. I'm wild at the I forgot where your face went. Yeah. Okay, there. <laughs> and then a little higher, and much slower than this, slower. and a little higher. Yeah, there you go. Coming up the nose. Yep, you can just put one thumb up and then the other thumb. And yeah, and then the other one follows right behind it. Yeah, so they both meet in the middle and then come out the eyebrows together. There you go. And stick right on the eyebrows because it's the upper okay. foramen that you'll get. There's another notch underneath those eyebrows there for drainage. Mm -hmm. That's it. Yeah. Yes, and right out to there. Very good. Okay. Yeah. And then a little higher each time. Coming up, yep. Don't be afraid to press, yep. And then out again towards the temples. Nice work, Elaine. And be slow and firm. How's the pressure, Mary? It's mm -hmm. good. Nice eyebrow raise mm -hmm. for that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And how's your confidence with that stroke, Michelle? Very good. I feel, um, I feel better because I can see coming up on this elevation until I get to maybe know Mary's face better. Um, yeah, this one feels good. My favorite um, part to massage of Mary's body would be feet and hands and then working up the leg to the knee and then working um, to about the elbow. I'm most comfortable with those particular areas, um, I think because it's less intimate and it's less, um, I feel more confident just because I'm, I just knew it this and have, haven't had a lot of experience. So I prefer doing um, the face and the scalp and the upper leg and respiratory when somebody else is here um, doing the same thing just so that I, I don't make any mistakes. Hey Mary, we just love massaging you. Hey Mary, your ALS has got us blue. You've lived your whole life giving us love of love. Now it's our turn to see you through. We love massaging you. Oh yes, we do. Hey Mary. You have given us a gift in your teachings. Our spirits you did lift will keep you with us the whole way through. I think you skipped a verse. <laughs> That's okay. I was like, where are we? <laughs> so this is where you get to go wild. So you can make a big claw-like form to your hand, and you can really move the scalp muscles. Okay. And this is really great for Mary at any time because when you're not able to move, you just don't get your circulation going and you don't get that pressure. giving you a really nice hairstyle now. <laughs> and instead of being so gentle, yeah. <laughs> let me show you. Hook on to the scalp okay. and move it so you're not gliding back oh, and okay. forth. Okay. But don't be afraid to hook on. The difference would be like this as opposed to this. Oh, okay. So you really okay. want to okay. hook on. Hook on and then you can go to a new spot. Yeah, big generous stroke. Yeah. And they can oppose each other instead of moving your whole head around, go like this. So lift up that way. Yeah. And then move to a new spot and hook on. Yeah. And a new spot, like around the back and low. Yeah, 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 yeah. And that, oh, doesn't that feel good, Mary? And I'd say that's the favorite, is uh, all around all here. Around, yeah. So you can take your fingertips, Elaine. And again, we're all underneath here. Isn't yeah. that nice? Yeah. And then all at the top of the neck there. Okay. There you go. Nice. And you go right around to the very center. There. Right there, Mary. Yeah. Nice. Lovely. You're so good. Yay. Do you have any questions? I haven't asked you. And keep going. Keep going. No, it's been great. It's, uh, yeah. And you can maneuver through all of those 
different massage areas in an hour. Yeah. And sometimes, you know, you can ask Mary where to start. You could always start here. Mm -hmm. I always like that as a nice finale. But um, sometimes I'll start right on Mary's lower back, especially if you're on uh, a night massage. Yeah. Then she's been in this chair during the day, and you can get right in underneath and work all the lower back. And that's relieving that good, right yeah. away. Right, yeah. Mary? Sometimes you start there. Great. And then what I do is I put the hot packs on to, mm -hmm. to finish. Yeah. Okay. And, yeah, don't worry. We'll get, see? She's telling you yeah. something. What would she be telling <laughs> you, Elaine? Uh, she wants hot, something underneath her feet. No? no? It's close. You want your socks on. Yes. 